Hi, hi, hi. Good evening, smart listener. How are you today? I hope your day was very good today. And welcome back again in Smart Up Your Life, our English learning program with me, Rifa Majid. And also, as usual, I'm not alone because tonight uh, I'm also accompanied by my friend from BPEC Makassar. Hi, Ama. Hi, Ka. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, how, how- was your day? Yeah, my day, oh, it is a tough day because I have a lecture starting mm-hmm. from 7 a.m. until until Ba'da Duhur, until okay. 2 p.m. That exhausting day. Yeah, exhausting day, <laughs> day. absolutely. Okay, all right, smart listener, as usual, uh, today we will invite you also to join with us to take a conversation with us uh, and Tonight we are going to discuss about one topic. But yeah. later we will tell you. Okay, so if you if you want to join us tonight, you can text us on 08114617171 uh, in our WhatsApp or SMS and also you can call us directly in 832774. That's the new num- uh, the new number of uh, Smart FM Makassar. Oh. Yeah. Yes, we change our uh, phone number <laughs> actually. Yeah, I see the little bit different from mm-hmm. the yeah. banner. Yeah, so uh, guys, a smart listener, you also can watch our uh, discussion tonight, our talk show, or our conversation tonight on our YouTube channel, Smart FM Makassar. Don't forget to subscribe. So yeah. <laughs> I have subscribed you. Okay, Mother thank FM. you. Yep. Okay. Uh, BPEC is our uh, faith partner. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah, of course. So what is uh, BPEC? Okay. Talking about BPEC, so smart smart listener outside there, if you have uh, heard about BPEC, so BPEC uh, stand for Benteng Panua English Club. So this is the oldest English meeting club, English community in uh, in Makassar City. So why I say like that? Because BPEC established in 1986, which is it's about thir- 34 years right now. So it's almost 34 right uh, 34 years mm-hmm. ago and. Next month we will have our university, uh, uni- our anniversary, as the thir- thirty-four years. Mm-hmm. And then, BPC have a main, have a main program named Lovely Sunday Meeting. So we regularly conduct English meeting club in Benteng Panua, English in in Benteng or for Rotterdam, and you can come with us. We start our Agenda at 10 p.m. 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. So this is per free of charge. You can so that's why you can come, but it will be better if you come by your uh, with your family. Mm-hmm. You can come with your friends, your uh, classmate, your acquaintance, your suppose or everyone. So please, if you want to come, don't come alone. Yeah. Because this free of charge. And you will not given a form. You don't have to fill a form for, for the first time. But you just come and join with us. Sit yeah. together with us. So do not hesitate to join yeah, with BPEC course. on their lovely Sunday meeting. Yeah. So come with your own will. Yeah. Right? And with your own family. With your friend and also... With your crush, for example. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Amal, tonight, uh, I want to ask you, as a student, yep. do you... Okay, every university, every college, um, surely they have a yearly event, maybe, yeah. or monthly event, maybe, or in your organization. So, okay. in your uh, university... Uh, in my university, there is uh, so many. Basically, basically talking about university, I only focus on my uh, organization. Mm-mm. So the internal organization. This is um, uh, organization that 
only come from my major. So my major, my basic major is English. So there is a communic, there is a organization named okay, English Sla- Student yeah, Organization. English Student uh, Organization. So I was active there, and then there is so many program mm-hmm. like um, English Camp, and this program. Every every uh, absolutely every single uh, organization or community community have their own uh, agenda. Beside beside in university, I also uh, actively join BPEC. So this is my external. So okay. I think For I every event or yeah. every program of the organization or colleague, uh, whatever, they are also have to prepare uh, a committee. Oh, or committee, comedy, yeah. committee, yes. is that right? Yeah, it is okay. right. Okay, committee to work hard, yeah. and that the the event or the program uh, being successful. So, uh, and also, I want to ask you: Do you ever uh, been a chief, a leader of the committee? Um, be a leader of a uh, a committee. As far as I remember. I haven't. Okay. I haven't yet become okay. a chief of country. or anything that uh, that push you to perform in front of the public mm. in your uh, university program, maybe oh, in your yeah. organization program, maybe that push you to perform to show to perform. To sh- uh, yeah, to to stand in front of many people. Okay, uh, last year. I have a. This is like inauguration. You mm-hmm. say we say inauguration because, and I become part of this event. I become. I perform uh, in Indonesia. We say, um, musical mu eh, puisi. Mm. Puisi. So I have to. I Poetry. prepare. Yeah, I pe- I prepare myself. I train myself with my senior who become my trainer. Is about one. Month before the we before we pre- mm-hmm. uh, before we perform. So in so the end, how 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 the the show? Yeah, absolutely. I think one month is not enough for mm-hmm. me. But because we, by, besides we have to uh, we have to go to campus. We have to memorize yeah. your yeah. There text. are so many activity, and also we have to memorize the text. Uh-uh. So how do you feel when you stand on the stage and you see? Many people in front of you. Yeah, I was nervous. Absolutely, mm-hmm. I was nervous. But with good preparation, every every nervous. It's because my is, my is, is the show going well? Yeah, running well. Uh, yeah, we can say like that. Okay, it's going with the plan that should be going. So, uh, my uh, my trainer, my senior, had taught me that this is will be a big show. Okay. So you even though you're nervous. Yeah. Even though you're nervous, st- st- uh, you have to stay focused on your n- text. You okay. have to uh, overcome all of the nerve nerve. Okay. That's Amal story. Yeah. About uh, his perform in front of the public, public, in front of all the people, in front of many people, and he felt nervous. So, how about you, smart listener? We want to ask you, and you can tell us about your <coughs> stage fright and what you did to overcome your nervous, your feeling, and whatever that happened on the stage when you stand in front of many people. Okay. So, smart listener, tell us about your story, about your experience, stage fright that uh, you've ever felt before and what you did yeah. to overcome it, to overcome your nerve or nervousness, isn't it? Yeah, nervousness. 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 Okay. Rasa gugup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you can tell us. Uh, so, Amal, uh, As what, according to your story before, that you have ever uh, stand in front of many people, that you have to perform in front of many yeah. people, you feel very nervous. Yeah, absolutely. And so, what you did to overcome your nervousness? Um, formerly, when I was in high school, so uh, maybe I will talk about my experience 
in senior high school because senior high school this is my first change to stand in front of many people so when i was senior high school i become one member of osis so osis also have uh, so many program in my school and my friends always trust me to become mc you know like oh my god i have to stand in front of people from the first beginning of the mm-hmm. the show until the end i have to open the show and i have to uh, close the show so i think when my friends believe me why not i have to believe myself okay. also well. so i think when i feel like oh my god don't choose me please because <laughs> i'm nervous like that i think i will this will not i will not be uh out from my comfort zone so comfort zone so i try to uh take this change and i become more confident later and little by little okay so i how how i did how i uh overcome my uh overcome my nervousness i try to train myself i have to have i have to good preparation Mm-hmm. So before I perform, I told my friends, for example, to see, okay, this is good or not if I say like this before the show or this is bad, mm-hmm. something like that. Okay, so that you fight your feeling, yeah. you train yourself and you force yourself. Yeah. Okay, there's a phone call that we want to hear a story from smart listener. Okay. All right. We will. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good night. Good evening. What's your hey, name? Uh, my. Oh 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 oh. It's a bad connection, maybe. <laughs> yes, you can call us a letter. You can come back again to yeah. call us letter. So, uh, okay, fight our fear. Yeah, fight our fear. Fight our um, what? Un- uncomfortable yeah our comfortable zone uh-uh. so what else and good preparation good preparation well preparation nah, well preparation that that's mean you have to train every day yeah for example a week before the show mm-hmm. a week before the program run so i think about how to Even though, for example, some of the case when I was in high school, my friends told me that choose me become the MC is about three days before the show, before the program, before the agenda. So, yeah, we, I have to maximize mm-hmm. the time that remain at the time. So I have to uh, well prepare. Okay. So what about if the show or the people force you? Or tell you that you have to perform impromptu, yeah. without any preparation before. Oh, uh, okay. We have to aware also that being a show in front of people, there's something like, like uh, will distract us, will interrupt us. So we have to like we have to prepare the plan B. Mm-hmm. Or even though uh, you have to, uh, we have also. Prepare. What will happen if we have to say the something like impromptu that we will never think that we will uh, say this sentence, for example, because we nervous. Be- but the the show must go on. Yep. Right. Even though we nervous, but I think that this is a kind of learning process. So when I did fail or I do something wrong, people will judge me that this is. This is normal. Mm-hmm. So I I always I always assume that when you do something uh, outside of your plan, yeah, let's it is normal for people. Yeah, that's just, the, that's the learning process. Yeah, that's learning pro- so process. So we, we we never know what our um fail what our yeah. uh what what gonna happen. What gonna happen if yeah. we never try? Yeah. So just try and do. Yeah, that, that's my one of my princip- princip- principle when I was in high school. Okay. So I find my lifestyle when I was in high school. I think why you have to shy for example? Yep. Why you have to not confident with ourselves? Mm-hmm. Besides we can confident. We show them even though 
sometimes we afraid doing something wrong. Okay. But I think people will say that this is okay. okay. This is normal. This is part of learning process. Learning process. Yeah. So just try and do don't 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 afraid to fail. Yeah. So never afraid to try. Don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. Yeah. Okay. This is our motivator tonight, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Amar. <laughs> okay. Um talking about the stage fright. How mm. about you, Kak Rifa? Do you have experience about the stage fright? Okay. Definitely I have. Yeah. <laughs> But Uh, it is uh, more like uh, my experience in um, doing on air as an announcer, radio announcer. Oh. My first experience when I was a student of university, the first time I'm doing on air in that air. radio broadcast. I felt so nervous. Okay. And that makes me uh, speechless. Oh, even though we don't, we didn't, uh, you didn't perform in front of many people, yeah. but you still feel nervous. Very, very nervous. <laughs> the first time. Oh, your first you time. You can doing imagine on air. the okay. first time on air, and I think many people. Listen to me. Oh, you you assume that. Yeah, I assume that many, many people, people listen, will listen to you. Will listen to me, and then I prepare myself. Oh, you prepare yourself. I prepare my, myself for a week, and oh. in the day that uh, in the day uh, my my schedule yeah. to your agenda uh, to to do on air in the in the radio. Okay. So I prepare myself. I stand by. In the studio, studio, okay. studio two hours before. Oh, on two air. hours before. Two hours How before. How disciplined you are! <laughs> <laughs> because so, I, because I'm afraid. Because uh, what? I don't know. I don't know so what, you, what to say. Yeah. So you doing uh, on air? You become the MC or mm-hmm. you become the guest? MC. Oh, MC. So As you announcer, oh, radio announcer. announcer. Okay, so you have. You have to over. say hi to everyone. Yeah. Hi to you. You have to sound confident. Yeah. So how the 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 how was the during the on air? Okay. It is ran well as you assume. As yeah. You expect, or? Not so well, I think. Okay. <laughs> And in the end, after the show, I was crying. Seriously. I was crying. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I failed. Oh, you think you fail? Uh-uh, because I fail. Become and the announcer. Yeah. You fail at the time. You uh-uh. think. But uh, next show, uh, my senior, mm. my mentor, given to me another schedule to oh, yeah. on air, and then I take the what the challenge. I take the job, and then yeah. I try my best. And for the second show. Yeah, better than before. Yeah, absolutely. Because we basically, when we have a nervous, it is kind of a problem. People say the problem, but we have to put in our mindset that problem is a challenge, mm-hmm. right? Problem is a challenge, not a brick problem, but it's always a, it's a part of a challenge. So you have to take the challenge, so you can learn from the challenge. Even though some people always fail at the very first time mm-hmm. when they do something like Kak Rifa doing, the and first it's normal. Time. Yeah, it is normal. It's a nature. We mm-hmm. as a human. Okay. Do you believe that the people said you cannot uh, deny your nervousness? You cannot uh, lose your nervousness, but you can minimize it. Yeah, that's good point. I believe that we cannot. Uh, Even though people say, okay, like on air, we didn't we didn't uh, perform in for many people, okay. but we assume that there is so many smart listener outside there will hear us, and we as we don't we ha- we want to we have a burden to give the best of us mm-hmm. because this is a opportunity, this is a job, this is obligation, so we have to show our best. Okay. That is the burden why we feel nervous, and we uh, our body. Will respond by produce uh, adrenaline hormone. 
So okay. we feel nervous at that time. Okay. So how about your first time doing on air in this radio? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't expect that my senior like Kak Putri and so on will give me a chance to sit here and let me speak, become the guest. I think when uh, I come my very first time come here, my first time came here, I think I will be observed. Mm-hmm. You know, like I s- only see how the radio... Just doing yeah, observation, observation and not talk. Yeah, not become the guest yeah. and doing some conversation. But... For me, before I have experienced so many experience talking in front of people and uh, the the uh, exactly when we speak full English, there is a burden that oh oh my god my English is good or not yeah. something like that. So it is kind of burden, but it's it is challenge for for me. So uh, even though we think like uh, we say we pronounce. Different words. We fail to pronounce some some the sentences, some the of words. But it is part of the learning process. I okay. think. Okay, and we will tell you also, smart listener, in your learning process, yeah. every people have their first time experience. Ex- have okay. they? They has they has their uh, have their has yeah. or they has have 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 their, have their first time experience. Yeah. Okay, so we will give you, we will tell you the way that can help you yeah, to, to op- overcome your nervousness or to perform uh, better than you can expect yeah. <laughs> before. The first is, this is the main thing, the, the main important thing. thing. Okay, what is it? Practice naturally. Okay, practice naturally. You have to train your... Uh, your yourself every day yeah. and every time. Okay, I have a p- experience about practice naturally. When I want to verb from I, I like I told you before, I want to verb from a poesy, so Mm-mm. poem. So my senior, my tutor said that, please don't remember the text. Yeah, but you have to feel the feeling, the flow, and because when Let once it come you, naturally, yeah. Let's let's it come out from your mouth naturally. Don't think that, uh, don't full remember or uh, merely just remember the text, the mm-hmm. whole text. But try to understand what the feeling inside the poem and so on. And also, I think uh, before the show and while I perform in front of the public, in front yeah. of the audience, I remember after the show I can feel free. Yeah. Absolutely. After the show, I can feel free. Okay, just ten minutes. Just ten just minutes. minutes. Yeah, <laughs> commonly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So transform. You can transform your nervousness, energy, your nervous energy yeah. to enthusiasm. You change the energy. Yeah, be, be, because in front of people or on air, we have to sounds uh, confidence. Yeah, we have to. Encourage the the audience as well. We don't. If we become an MC, for example, we shouldn't be like uh, lemas, yeah, uh, exhausted. But we have to show the spirit. Yeah, you, you we have to show our excitement, yeah, excitement. in that uh, room. Maybe so. Um, we also can what give a positive vibe to audience. To audience. So also you. We can learn from another speeches, another uh, another seminar, maybe another yeah, another agenda, public speaker. Another public speaker. We can learn from them. The technique yep. and so on. That's all. So, uh, also the helpful way that you can do in your home, everywhere. Yeah. You can prepare your, yourself to. Stand or perform in front of the public, yeah. Except that being nervous is not a bad thing. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Such as uh, Amal said before, yeah. it's not a bad thing. That's the good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing because we can learn after that. Yeah, that's the good thing that forced us to prepare well. Yeah, to prepare well. So one, one thing that we have to underline is nervous. Um, when we have to perform in front of people. And we cannot 
deny that nervous will also absolutely come when we become a MC, for example. But we have to minimize it by uh, well f- preparation because well prepare will increase our I- confidence. Mm-hmm. Will com- increase our confidence and our confidence will d- reduce. The adren hormone, ad, uh, the adrenaline hormone, and we will not be. Uh, there is no big nervousness with during the during performing for the public. Okay, so also don't try to be perfect because yeah. n- nothing perfect. Nothing perfect. And also, yeah, you have uh, or we have to know best uh, of our mat- uh, subject matter and also engage the audience with our. Positive vibe We our positivity energy Absolutely And we have to also Now that When we train To become MC For example bef- we, we train ourselves To speak in front of people The situation with 100% different When mm-hmm. you show Because there's so many eyes Focus on you And, and then, anything can happen in, yeah, On the stage Yeah anything can happen People, for example, can distract your focus by by uh, having having conversation in front of mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. and you will get your you will lose your focus. But but you have to aware that keep your focus on your mind. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. don't easy to be to be disturbed by people in front of you. Okay, and also uh, usually the way that I do. Yeah. Uh, before getting on the stage is to take a breath. Yeah, take, take a, a deep, few deep deep, deep, deep breath, breath before. before and even during the show, because when whenever you can control your breath, you can control your speech. Yeah, you can control your nervousness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so Amal will tell you, smart listener, about uh, vocabularies or some idioms. That we've uh, taught before in our conversation. Okay, talking about some vocabularies. F- the first maybe uh, confidence. Confidence means kepercayaan diri. Yep. Confidence. We I think this uh, common common words. Yep. We always hear about confidence. Confidence kepercayaan diri. The mempanggung stage fright. Right. Yeah, the mempanggung. So don't say stage fever or so yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah don't literally uh, <laughs> say fever. Yeah, fever. That sickness. Yeah, or sickness. Don't don't uh, translate one by one. Okay. Try to open your Google. Okay. Try open your Google and say yeah what the English of the mempanggung. Yeah. And stage fright. St- yeah, stage fright, and nervous. So. Basically, there is a common mistake during people when speak English. They say they say how to overcome your nervous. So this is wrong. So you have to say how to overcome nervousness. 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 Okay. Your nervousness because after the you you your yours means a positive kepunyaan kepemilikan. So uh-huh. for example, your mobile phone. So after your or something like hers or his, uh-huh. you have to say noun. So nerf nervous then is adjective and the noun is nervousness or nerve nerf. only nerve okay that's nerf. noun yeah so, so you have to how to overcome your nervousness. nervousness or nerve or if you want to say i feel nervous that's the yeah, good you, word the, i feel the nervous right. that's the right one because okay. after the feel right the right sentence yeah the right sentence okay next um Maybe, uh, like, you have to say learning process. Yep. So we have talking about how the learning enthusiasm. process. Enthusiasm. 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 Okay. Or rehearse. Rehearse. What is that? Uh, yeah. what rehearsal? Rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Latihan. Yeah. Uh, gladi. <laughs> oh, gladi. Train yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Train yourself. Well prepare. So it it will be wrong if you say well preparation. Uh-huh. So you have to say well prepare. Well, well prepare. prepare. No, you don't have to say well preparation. Okay. Thank you so okay, much, Amal, for the challenge, for the time tonight. 
we have sharing uh, much story and experience, experience to smart listener and also we will back again smart listener next week yeah next yeah. week every Thursday night and At don't forget to come to BPEC yeah every you can you can Sunday. join uh, BPEC lovely Sunday, Sunday meeting, meeting and also you can join with us in our smart, smart. up your life program at yeah. 7 PM. PM. Thank you so much and successful.